Hello, this is the part four on research methodology or just basic uh, talk on how to do research, uh, especially for young people and young researchers. So uh, the previous uh, <coughs> videos you can get uh, uh, from here. So uh, in this presentation, I uh, would like to mention how to select a problem. So I'm uh, Ahad from the University of Dhaka and currently I'm working at so th these are the basic steps that uh, for any research we try to identify the problem which is the most important part and reviewing information uh, proposal experiment data collections finally we do analysis deep analysis and then uh, conclude uh, with some general so, uh, in the previous third lecture we mentioned about literature review which is very important to know what is going on so it means that reading the works of others before starting your own research work just like we learn from the past to build the future this slide we'd like to mention about how to uh, uh, f uh, i mean find a problem or, or what are the strategies to do i mean uh, there are many ways but i gave uh, some ideas so for example i think that we need more interactions I mean, young researchers should attend different uh, domestic or international conferences or meetings or workshops and or courses. There are many courses online, many lectures are online, and during uh, COVID, I mean, many conferences are going on online. So, uh, so you can uh, attend all those to get different ideas. Don't miss the chances to attend lectures or talks all over the country. Uh, I'm not talking about China or America or Russia consider i mean your uh, region like bangladesh for example a small country and parts of india uh, you can explore in your region even if it is not directly related because at the upper level many areas are related like if you want to do biological image processing or cancer research but it may need biology sensors programming say signal processing and so on we need to discuss informally with different colleagues and interested members be part of IEEE, ACM, Optical Society of America, and so on, different student branches, clubs, online forums related to your field so that you can know what is going on around and how people are thinking. And you convert your gossip, Adda, uh, into academic brainstorming session. Don't just spoil your time. I mean, have more discussions on topics uh, to uh, do some brainstorming. And do it regularly so that you can try to change the world. so uh, you need uh, more in-depth study uh, uh, if uh, there is a problem and it's big try to uh, split it into smaller and manageable research bay and so on uh, and budget is important in many cases and in many developing countries there is uh, no budget compared to the rich countries <laughs> so what to do I mean, uh, this is a difficult task, even I struggle, but uh, ask your parents, for example, uh, to, uh, for the young researchers or uh, reach relatives or alumni to fund you. Hopefully, they will give. Uh, engage your money and best efforts on more. So, uh, know your capabilities and limitations. This is important. If you do not know your limitations and capabilities, strength and weakness, then you cannot move further. This is important so and you need a supervisor i found that some young boys and girls they make group they try to do something but they don't have any supervisor so they struggle and produce something which is not good so at least during the planning phase engage more time with the supervisor and then you do an update and update and this way you can make it better uh, try to uh, develop something uh, uniqueness is important no exact repetitions of other works try to change or modify or upgrade or at least do some kind of experiments at least uh, i mean do some change not uh, i mean copying another method okay evaluating a problem is important think is it feasible is it worthy is it significant is it researchable is it too large if then as i mentioned split into smaller portions Availability of the data, set up resources, like if you want to work on big data, a big image or video data, for example, or sensor data, but you do not have that much setup or resources or computers, so you cannot work. So you should think on different areas where you can fit well. This is one example. 
Am I capable of solving it? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, consult with experts and non-experts uh, because this is important. Experts will guide you. Non-experts related to the field will give you some perspective on society, social issues and others so that you can tune your method or model or thinking. Think about will the results advance knowledge? Will the research have some value? Will the results be of interest to others? If all are yes, this is excellent. But I understand that in many cases it's not possible, especially within short time. But at least try to focus on those po these points so that it can be better. Okay? And uh, in many cases, researchers, young researchers, they try to do something or anything to learn. But if you focus on this, then the learning will so for any solution, what we do? We need hypothesis or gaze. A gaze is an edu educated gaze. I mean, a hypothesis is an educated gaze, knowledgeable, based on theory, which I mentioned in previous slides or previous presentations. It is an attempt to explain the nature of the relationship between the variables you identified in the problem. Look at the, I mean, uh, my lecture on one and two so that you can get uh, on those issues. And you try to attempt to suggest a possible answer to the problem okay so this is an uh, should be an educated and knowledge based and theory based so it's not new because we do a lot in our daily life like when you gossip uh, uh, and then uh, when something is lost or unusual ha things happen we think many ways we find oh maybe this and find logics and logics and logics we think a lot about many unnecessary things but what about research do we give time? Do you think in the morning, at noon, during lunch, okay, before sleeping? If you think a lot about your problem and possible solutions, then you will. So, to solve the problem, you attempt to link what is known and what is not known and suggest a possible reason or propose a solution. In this way, you are hypothetical. Finally, we do experiments. Do experiments as much as possible. Need diverse experiments in different situations and conditions. I mentioned in one of the previous lectures where I mentioned that if you have real data, that is their best. If you do not have real data, then go for artificially uh, artificial data or simulated data. And I gave an example on gate recognition. You can have a look in the previous lecture. If it fails, ensure to make experiments on different cases. For example, many undergraduate students or uh, so on, they do small works like line follower robot. Yes, it can move on a smooth path, but learn some control engineering methods and electronics and try. What about on grass, on sandy path, on concrete routes or slippery path or in the darker area or occluded path or zigzag path or muddy path or upward directions or downward directions? I mean, do you think that your line follower robot that you built uh, I mean, a few weeks ago, and try to uh, concentrate on something different to improve. I mean, this is also important. I find, I mean, thousands, uh, not thousands, I mean, about several hundred students who did line for robot and they do year after year uh, the similar things and not much challenge and not much change because these are not based on theory, based on knowledge. They learn something and they are trying to do something instead of looking into direct petty applications look into how you can control and do this is very important that whatever we do we try to analyze discuss or generalize we need to analyze in depth considering what where it works well and why you need to know where it fails and why you have to answer what are the boundaries of this method or this approach or application it can perform show experiments and theoretically and i mean so experimental and theoretical proofs not only experiment i mean give some theoretical uh, reasonings for that okay i mean if your method or approach is based on theory this is the most important thing okay where it may work upon some improvements that you could not try mention those in the future work or discussion part be concrete on your findings Regarding that, you need mathematical and statistical analysis and tools for investigation. Don't just mention uh, by simple graphs or something that this is done, this is the result. Now uh, but we have much more tools to explore. 
need comparative and results analysis with other state of the art works state of the art means latest works the problem is if it is not possible in many cases it's not possible because your time or resources or work or method is not that up to uh, up to that level so what to do at least give some kind of comparative theoretical point of view discussions in your discussion part or result analysis part with state of the art methods N not every method will be the best one or better one than the existing one but is it comparable if not what are the reasons maybe your method is not comparable in one data set or another data set but it has something which uh, is good or maybe reasonable so try to find uh, this kind of things okay don't just make your results on a small data set and don't just uh, submit like that data visualization tools i mean there are lots of data visualization tools try find and use them running time or complexity is important cost is it realistic implementable these are important in uh, I, in, I have lots of publications in the past uh, I, I don't have this kind of things but still uh, i love i'm learning so i am sharing uh, based on my uh, knowledge uh, thanks a lot let's work the hardest and uh, in the next slides i'll cover paper writing reviewing uh, selection of journals conferences crap or versus standard you can find the videos here and the lectures are based on the, uh, these materials especially from uh, college uh, lectures um, and you can subscribe the link and share with others thank you so much